Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you so much for joining us. Tuning back in for the 2024 Legends of the Lake, presented by Innova. Today's round is going to be at Stampede Disc Golf Course in Truckee. This is round four, but round two of the second day. So these guys are either warmed up or tired. But either way, <laughs> you got myself, Spanky Edwards, my man Dave Salazar are in the booth with me today. As Catch always, Cam. <laughs> as always, Safety Ridge Merkley. And... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pumped. Stampede. They had a nice little drive over here. Time to collect their thoughts and mm -hmm. get into it. Uh, Tristan, holding on to the lead, but uh, it's, a, it's a tight race at the top. Um, everyone put together a pretty good round, at least those top guys. Ryan shot a six. Andrew McGill shot a nine under, which was incredible. Ryan Jewell, five under. He's not out of it. He's a couple back, but he's there. And then we've got Mike Sale jumping back on the lead card for round four. He shot a six under to get there. And just below our buddy Dan Turner is one stroke off of Sale, so he's going to be on the chase card. We've got Nate and Alex and Zach down there on the chase card. Forget Jaden. And hey, Jaden. But anyway, Dan Pete Reservoir. Here we go. Hole one, par three, 306. Uh, I'm gonna say a nice little starting hole that doesn't force you to throw something too hard. Just, I, I mean, forehand or backhand. It's really forehand. just kind of get it there. It's just get it there, yeah. yeah. I think this looks like a perfect shot. There's no, uh, Maybe a little there's no low. magic key to get there. It's, I mean, it's right there. Yeah. Look at that. And I think that's a really nice way to start around. Maybe if you're a little nervy, you get to just get a nice clean drive out there. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, worst case, get your par and move on to the next one, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna say this is like a, I don't know, at least a 20 minute drive from Sierra College. Yeah, I don't know actually how far, but it's gotta be at least 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. So these guys had time to contemplate what they're gonna do. Stampede's out there. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm wondering if it's gonna be a little windy, like towards the actual reservoir. Coming off the water. Yeah, yeah, we'll find out here. Especially, in a bit. you know, being the afternoon round now. Looks like, uh,. Was that Ryan Jewell? Did he change shirts and hat? I think there was just more light. <laughs> <laughs> you that, can see him. That was Ryan. Mike, right. that looks nice. I like the height on that. Yeah, it's going to get all the way there. Let's welcome Mike back to the lead card. Yeah, we haven't seen him since round one. So yeah, on the, on the feature card there, yeah. Good work. All right, looks like... Tristan's got some stuff in the way, but... A good bid. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, these putts are, you know, a little tricky with all these trees, oh. except for Andrew McGill. Just picks right back up. Hey, he just kept off. going, right? Yeah. yeah. It's like that round never oh. ended. Oh, bummer. All right. Great birdie. Yep. Yeah, these two. This is a fun course. You know, I haven't played it in a little bit, but uh, every time I've been here, I've had a, a thoroughly good time. I think we're going to see some slightly lower scores this round. Mm -hmm. uh, Stampede plays a little bit easier than Sierra College. Uh, some shorter holes and a little bit more open. But uh, yeah, still definitely woods golf, but uh, yeah. Not a lot of elevation change, you know. A lot less. Yeah, a yeah, lot less, yeah. For sure. Uh, hole two is two sixty one. A little bit of a little bit of a funky shot. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Did you see that elbow? <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Jason's really working on his zoom skills. I think he's going to keep working on them. <laughs> <laughs> Step into my office. There's a shot. Yep. Yeah, it's just tucked like under and behind that tree. I think he wants. That's going to get away from him. Oh, <sighs> oh that's... It's almost like a no look from inside <clears throat> the circle. You know? It's almost reminiscent of hole 12 at Bijou if you go too long mm -hmm. in that straight position. Yeah. You're right there and you've got nothing. This is the softest little chipper ever. That's nice, great shot. Nice chipper. 
I think that's kind of why maybe you <laughs> see some of the guys going forehand off the tee. It's because they actually want somebody to bend right to left and then finish left back to right to get into this little cubby. Yeah, yeah. You, said a, you said a lot of words right there. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, with the, the horseshoe. horseshoe. I like it. Wow. Fantastic. That's real ath uh, athletic there. Very athletic. Yeah. All right, you guys, hole three. It's a par three, 285 feet. And it looks, uh, it's still kind of, you know, no mystery here, really. As far as the hole, you know, it's very decipherable. I feel like these first three holes, not that they're bad holes, but they're almost uh, almost filler holes in a way to get to the other side of the parking lot to, to get up on the hill and start playing up the hill and into the woods. Yeah, and that's not a dig at the course not at, at all. all. You know, it's not like, at all. I think it's great. I like when hole when courses have holes that are warming you up. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Yeah. Yeah, rather than Zephyr, where you just go up a mountain for the first eight <laughs> holes. <laughs> nice warm up. It's an angry course. Just hanging it out there. Yeah, I would imagine this is going to come in as one of one of the easier holes on the course. Ryan's going to settle for his par for hole three there. And the other Ryan is going to make a birdie. A smooth, smooth putt. Zero bogeys on the day on this hole. Zero? Zero bogeys. Mike sailed that one past. I wonder how much he hates that joke. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Sorry, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Andrew, no surprise. Another birdie. Another birdie. Well, Mike's going to tap in his bar as well as Ryan. Hole four. 270 feet. I want to say this is uh, just slightly behind those trees. I could say that about almost any... Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's by that rock near the tree. Uh, it's right out there by the trees. <clears throat> oh, Ridge! Watch out, Ridge! <laughs> well, you can actually see the basket down there to the left. Yeah, there it is, yep. Get over those rocks, and that's perfect. It's, yeah, it looks like there's some skip potential here if you you have to get lucky. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, gosh. I'm not sure this is intentional. I'm going to say no. It was not. Um, let's I see. No. Did it come down? It, yeah. Oh, it did come down. Okay. I mean, it looked like he, he reached down to go up. I don't think it was a mistake necessarily. Other than oh, only because he said, oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he just released it way vertical instead of forward. You know? Yeah, no, I meant, uh, did it come out of the tree? Right. Yeah. I guess we'll find out. Stay tuned. <laughs> Ooh, all over it. Oh, Ryan in the shadows for once. All right. Yeah, his like shirt's bright enough, though. We can see him anywhere. Yeah. What, do you, what do you call that? Salmon? Orange or salmon? Yeah. I don't know. I got called out for calling my disc orange the other day. <laughs> I was corrected. It's yellow. Oh, geez. <laughs> Mike taps in. Uh, like he's back on his game. Can find a phone. It looks like. Where's the next T sign? Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> I didn't do the right thing. Looks like Tristan's going to sit there and do some course maintenance. <laughs> Somebody give that man a screwdriver. Uh, hole five, par three, 282. You can almost tell immediately getting over to here. It's greener. It's lusher. It's his, the opposite side of the parking lot. And now these guys are like on the hillside where it's like the meat of the course is. Yeah. Um, this is a great hole. A little 282 feet, slightly uphill. I'm almost, mm. almost kind of reminds me of like 
15 at Bijou. Just way more trees. 15? Oh, at Bijou. <laughs> yeah. It's just like a subtle uphill. Yep. The, the line's there. It's a good shot. Uh, you can see the reservoir there for the first time with the catch cam. It is a lovely reservoir. It does get windy, though. Yeah. It's been windy a few times when I've been there. Good approach there. Some people walking away not wanting to watch disc golf, I guess. <laughs> Losers. <laughs> Where are you going? Ooh. All over the basket. Looks like Ryan Jewell's... Uh, up and oh, in. Oh, wow. What a birdie. Or his birdie. Yep. Yeah, it's like that. He's three down through five. Yep. Might have been the hat change or the shirt change. I don't know. Exhale. Great putt. Yeah, these guys are coming to play. Yeah, and, you know, I think going into this round, Ryan was like... Four, I want to say four back of the lead, and now he's mm -hmm. right there. You know, maybe even five back. Anyway, yeah, he's staying right in it. Yeah, he was just five back from Tristan starting off. You're right. All right. Ryan Bain with the yellow shirt. No, wait. No. Orange? Salmon. Salmon. <laughs> oh, we're just kidding, guys. Uh, hole six, par three, two twenty-eight. He doesn't like it. He's chasing it. He wants He's it back. Going to pick it up and throw it again. <laughs> Slightly uphill here. Yeah, I think you just want the straight, almost the straight forehand. Why does this hole remind me of something over at uh, now the now defunct Turtle Rock? Just has oh, the same feel, right? Yeah, I can see it. Maybe the, the hold... perfectly spaced trees. Yeah. With the rocky, bushy ground. R.I.P. Turtle Rock. R.I.P. Yeah, sometimes this course makes me feel that. Ooh, yeah, that's it. That almost went in. But yes, I agree. <clears throat> I know what you mean. Mm. Similar vibes. And that's the four and you look. That's the width we're looking for. Oh, yeah. Stay there. That's a beaut. Mm hmm If you guys haven't been out to Stampede, you should uh, definitely make the trek out there. Maybe get a camp spot. Yeah, great camping, great disc golf, great reservoir to hang out on. Yeah. Hey, hello. Mike. He's yep. awake. That's three in a row. <laughs> See, they go in, guys, I swear. <laughs> got round one coverage. Atta boy. Way to plug yourself, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> So check me out. <laughs> Good job, Mike. Yeah, you know you're into disc golf when you're taking vacations just to disc golf. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go camp at a disc golf course. Every vacation I ever take. Yeah. <laughs> My girlfriend loves me. Yep. <laughs> okay, Ryan Jewell from the sun. Nice birdie. Yeah, he still has his foot on the gas pedal for sure. Yeah. He's looking to keep it a tight race. Mm-hmm. And just like that, two back of the lead. It's getting toy. All right, Ryan, Ryan Bain's looking to put some more blue on that scorecard. Yeah, him and Tristan both. What has you got? Yeah, Mike and Ryan lighting it up. Hole seven, 237. Par three. Oh, oh, wow. It's the Charlie Brown tree. I don't know how much further it would have gone with that rock behind it, but it definitely would have gone further than just squaring up that little bush. That went a little pass, a little long. Yeah. I can just see the flag from down here off to the left side of that tree. Oh, don't go too far left. That was a little pulled. This is when we start rounding around to see the water. Mm -hmm. We'll come over this hill and start playing a little more to the right. The water's edge. 
Well, I think that worked out pretty good for Tristan, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, that'd be a putt. Oh, this is a long one. Oh, wow. Can he do it? If you guys uh, haven't seen Mike Sale yet, check out round one coverage. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, Mike Sale. Ryan Jewel. Oh, a little up. All right. Looks like Tristan should make some short work of this. There you go. Yep. Back on track. There it is. Just like we said, you need some blue. Yep. You're my boy, blue. Oh, oh no. Okay. That means what in Spanish? <laughs> should we do the rest of the uh, commentary in Spanish? <laughs> I'll have to get out my textbook. <laughs> Cerveza. <laughs> El Discoff. Right. Oh my gosh, for some reason I thought that was coming out. That played tricks on my eyes. Alright, Ryan Jewel, the unfortunate bow coming up after such a great start. Just two little miscues on the putter there. Yeah, it's still early in the round. You know, I yeah, know it's hole seven, it's, but you know, we still have some disc golf to play. Not the end of the world. Yeah, hole eight, you guys. Shorty, 201 foot. 201. 201. One. Looks like Tristan's gonna throw his little forehand here. Oh! oh! No way! What? No way! Just a little forehand. <laughs> High five. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, I had no idea. Boom! Oh, Shaka laka. Ooh, an ace. <laughs> Muy bien, Tristan. <laughs> wow. Oh, I had no idea. No one told me about that. That's incredible. <laughs> Nobody informed me of this. Usually you hear it through the grapevine, you know? Yeah, I, yeah. I had no clue. That's amazing. Nobody talks to me. I don't know. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, you live in a van by the river. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> All right, Andrew Gill. Throwing a little... Oh, oh fuck. Two I thought we were going yeah, <laughs> oh we to see another one. That was, that was pretty key. Pretty key. All right, Ryan's going to look to bounce back here from his... Previous holes bogey. Oh, a little long. Yep. I mean, like... downhill. There it is. You want a picture or anything? He's <laughs> like, nah. <laughs> it's like my thousand face. Yeah, it's like, I'll be on live coverage. Don't worry. Yeah. Oh, looked like that was kind of a hard putt. Looked like he had to straddle around a tree. That one. Yeah, it looked like he had to go between the two. Yeah, actually. yeah. All right, Mike converting his birdie. Yep, going to five down through eight. Yeah, showing you why he's on the the lead card today. I mean, I mean, he's capitalizing on these short holes. You know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think the the longest hole we've had yet was like three hundred feet, right? Uh, yeah, right around there. Yep. Again, Facebook status. <laughs> Checking in. I think it's his MySpace. Oh. <laughs> there it is. All right, he's going to get one. Yeah, smile big there, Tristan. Great ace. Awesome. All right, obviously Tristan's up. <laughs> is that how that works? Mm -hmm. All right, hole nine, 384. Clearly a little downhill. Oh, get in again. Oh my goodness! I think he's gonna get it already. Two oh one, three eighty four. He doesn't, you know, doesn't matter to him. Yeah, no doubt. I can't even see that. There it is. Ooh, he's gonna have a little straddle behind the tree. I've seen him do some work from behind the timber. Yeah, it might be a little early, but we'll see what kind of power he's got. <laughs> he hated it much he's got much power he hated it he said, I think he said I just can't throw this hole and he's like just outside the circle <laughs> just throws it 400 oopsie Ryan Bain looking for a little skipper 
Oh, you get it. All right. Yeah. Oh, that rock was good to him. I like it. Yeah. Landed real soft. All right, Jewel. Come on now, buddy. Nice straight shot down the tunnel. A little too straight. Uh huh. Where's this guy coming from? There it is. Yep. Yeah. Good smart bed. No reason to take a bogey for no reason. And if you guys are looking for a car, well, we have a used auto car sales in the background. <laughs> so take your pick. I'm kidding. Mike Sale showing us another birdie. Looks like he's uh, just tacking them on. I you actually see the Jason's premium van in the background. Premium disc golf, South Lake Tahoe. Check it out. Choo choo choo, check it out. All right, Andrew's tapping in his par. Well, he really overshot that one, huh? Yeah. Well, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure what the scoring averages were on those holes necessarily, but I feel like... Looks like Tristan's dropping in another birdie. He's just compounding neg strokes. I feel like these guys wanted to do a little more. I mean, sorry, Mike Sales doing great at six under. We've got Tristan at five, but that's with an ace. You yep, know, I think yep. he had a few too many pars in there. Ryan Bain obviously looking for a few more birdies. They're still doing fine. They're still up there at the top for sure. But you see Alex Kalanji, six down, three nine. We got some fours and fives. Um, mm -hmm. You know, everybody's out there kind of attacking that front nine. I think the Batman's going to get a little bit longer, a little more technical, and then the water might come into play for these guys on yeah, the back let's, nine. Let's find out. So. Anyway, thank you guys very much for tuning in, and we'll be right back with the back nine.